Do you ever need a great dessert for a party or a gathering? Well, I got one. It's the ultimate layer chocolate chip cookie cake. It's great for parties and gatherings. So let's get started. All right, so first you're gonna need three fourths of a cup of salted butter, room temperature. Next, you're gonna need three fourths cup of dark brown sugar. Then, you're gonna need one fourth cup of sugar. Next, you need one egg. Then, you need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then, you need two cups of all-purpose flour. Next, you need two teaspoons of cornstarch. Then, you're gonna want one teaspoon of baking soda. Then, to finish it off, you're gonna want one and one-fourth cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. All right, so your first step to make the ultimate layer chocolate chip cookie cake is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So your next step is to place a circle of parchment paper into the bottom of your 9 inch cake pan. Next, you need to set this aside and you need to mix in your big bowl, you need to mix the cream, butter, and then both sugars until light and fluffy, so about 4 minutes. Next, you're going to mix in your egg and vanilla extract. You want to do this over the bowl so it doesn't spill out like that. So next, you're going to mix in your flour. You're going to want to pour the whole thing in there. Then you're going to want two teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay, we're good there. Then you're going to want to rinse this out if you're using the same one. There we go. And then you're going to want um, one teaspoon, I mean, yeah, one teaspoon of baking soda. And you're going to want to mix the whole thing. Next, you're going to mix in your chocolate chips. The dough will get thick, so it might be a few minutes. Next, you want to take your dough and put it evenly into the cake pan. Alright, so since you just made your classic chocolate chip cookie cake, you're going to want to make the regular chocolate chip cookie cake. So for the ingredients for this, you're going to want 3 fourths cup of salted butter, room temperature. Then you're going to want a half a cup of brown sugar, lightly packed. Then you're going to want a half a cup of sugar. You're going to want one egg. You're going to want one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're going to want one and one fourths cup of flour. Then you're going to want a half a cup of cocoa, which I use Hershey's Special Dark, and then you're going to want <clears throat> one teaspoon of baking soda, and then you're going to want one and one-fourth cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. <clears throat> Alright, so first you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Mine's already preheated. So next, you're going to want to take the 
circle of parchment paper and place it into the bottom of the nine inch cake pan. Then you're gonna to wanna to set that aside. Then you're gonna bring over your bowl and you're gonna to wanna to mix in your cream, butter, and your brown sugar and your regular sugar. Next, you're gonna mix in your egg and vanilla extract. You want one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Be slow and steady so you don't mess up with my first one. Next, you're going to want to mix in your flour, your baking soda, and your cocoa. Pop it all in. You're only going to want one teaspoon of it. chocolate chips. When mixing, your dough will be thick. Next, you want to evenly press in your dough into your pan. You can spread it all into the, you can put it in the center, but then spread it out evenly, please. Next, you're going to put your evenly spread out dough in the pan in the oven. You're going to want to bake 18 to 20 minutes. So don't forget to set a timer. Alright, so since you just made your chocolate chip cookie cake, now you're going to want to make your fun Freddy cake. So, for that, you're going to need 3 fourths of a cup of salted butter, room temperature. You're going to want um, a half a cup of sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, a half a cup of flour, um, a whole box of Funfetti cake mix, and then you're going to want three-fourths of a cup of white chocolate chips and three-fourths of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Let's get started. So your first step is you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I already did that. So next, you're going to take a circle of parchment paper and put it in your 9 inch cake pan. Next, you're going to set that aside and bring your bowl over. Next, you're going to mix in your butter and your sugar. So your next step is to mix in your egg and vanilla. And remember, don't be careful when doing this so you don't spill it like my first time. So next you're gonna mix in your flour and your cake mix. And dump it all in. You can take the bag out of the box. It's much more easier. That colorize your cake. So next you're going to mix in your white chocolate chocolate chips and your regular chocolate chips. I have them in the same bowl because they're the same thing. So why do you want to dirty up two things? into the pan and evenly spread it out. Oh, oh, okay. So your next step to is to put in the evenly spread out dough in the pan in the oven. You should have a parent while you do this. 
set the timer. Next, it's time to make the vanilla buttercream. I already did that. So next, it's time to put the cake all together. So first, you're going to take your Funfetti cake and you're going to tip it over onto your platter thing. Then, you're going to flip it back over. Next, you're going to want to put on the cream. Your next step is to take the chocolate chip cookie and put it on top of the funfetti cake. Next, you're going to want to frost it. So your next step is to take the regular chocolate chip cookie and put it on the top. Your next step is to finish off the cake by decorating it. All done. All right. So this, the safety for this is when you're using like this, because it kind of has some rough edges, or a knife, like to cut the cookies out to get them onto here. You always want to have a parent around, like I do. And helpful hints: you don't always have to make the vanilla buttercream frosting. It's very easy if you just go to the store and buy it. So. This is a great dessert. It's good for parties and gatherings, and I think you should try it, but remember, have a parent around.